add on more oxidizer. So, I want to use some fairly small tanks. So let's get into here, arrange these. Now because I have fuel editor, I can make some adjustments. We got these hemispherical ones. You could just, I'm just thinking of something I could just stick on the side without changing the, well they only have, they're not very big. These are huge. Those are 27.5 units of oxidizer. What about these guys? Well, these are lighter and have more oxygen. Okay, I'm going to use these. Here's what we're going to do. Put on the... I got an idea. Okay, we're just going to put these on roughly for now. But what I'm going to do is I do have an ability to edit the tanks. And what I want to do is not have more liquid fuel. What I need is more oxidizer. So I'm going to take out the liquid fuel part. And that will give me more room for the oxidizer. And this is something I didn't know, but you can click on that and you can make that bigger. So you're taking up more cubic meters of oxidizer. So now this tank, let's close this, holds 72 units of just oxidizer. This tank has 39.6 units of oxidizer. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to edit the tanks. I'm going to take out the liquid fuel going to click on the volume we're going to add volume to that and now there's 72 units of oxidizer there and now we're going to just make this a little bit more streamlined we're going to make these white and then i got me some small nose cones that's what i'm looking for That to me seems like a relatively unobtrusive way. If I can get these guys to go where I want them to go. Okay. Oh, oh, that's. Are they clicking into something? Sorry, it's hard to see what's going on here. Oh no, they're right. That's what I'm looking for. Yep. And then we'll get just the move tool here. just make them a little more straight I might move that solar panel I think I am I'll move the solar panel I don't like where it is anyway move the batteries too yeah that's the idea okay I'm just gonna move these out of the way for now we'll find a better spot for them I'm going to use, just line up, line these all up along this seam right here. Local, slide them in. This way. Outwards. Yeah. That kind of works. Okay, where's a better spot for the solar panel? That's the door for that. I can put, I can put it on top of... tuck it in here hopefully that's not blocking the hatch I don't think it is yeah it doesn't look bad so okay we've just added on a bunch of oxidizer to this thing let's save it we'll uh, give her another go How I stop worrying about drag and just love all my external batteries, says, says Anna. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. <laughs> I can't, I can't deny it. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe I can tuck them in somewhere better, but well, let's just try this for now. So, simulator, there it is. Try this again. Oh, center of mass? So uh, that's No Mercy saying you didn't check where your center mass now is, and that is very, very true. We'll see how this goes. <laughs>
Luckily, this is just a simulation. Okay. So again, uh, yep, breaks off. Throttle up. Sort of on an angle on the runway. I'm not sure what that's why. And we're off. Hold that pitch. Yeah, you know, drag, drag schmag. <laughs> I don't know how much drag is this. So what's the 12? F12 is the aerodynamic bits. I mean, how much drag comes off of that stuff? Can't be that bad, can it? Maybe it is. I don't know. It looks good, and that's all that matters. I should get into changing some of these textures where I can, too. Alright. So John says, sorry, I meant the lateral outboard on the outer side of the engines. That way you can use an existing orientation program. Oh, I think, I think, I, uh, you're talking about the solar panels, John? I think that's what, remember to turn our battery off, yeah. Uh, I think John's talking about the solar panels and orienting solar panels, if I'm not mistaken. I could be still mistaken. So putting, oh, whoa, whoa, pitch down, pitch down, we need more speed, come on. We're lagging there. Expecting the X-Men to jump out of this thing, says Ace Clown. Uh, that, I'm taking that as a compliment. <laughs> Gotta paint it black. I'm wondering if I should sneak in another set of reaction wheels on this thing, because I was noticing as I was pitching up there, really didn't want to keep that attitude. How am I doing for speed here? Still building up speed. Really want to start seeing those whiplashes kick in. Again, watching this. But now with these guys full of oxidizer, I'm hoping that's gonna that's gonna make a difference. And this is the thing. This is gonna be the whole plan. It's just keep adding. You know, if I run out of liquid fuel, I'll add on some liquid fuel and. Hopefully by the end of all this, we'll uh, have something that actually works. This gets a lot easier once you have the rapier engines, that's for sure. All this thing needs to be able to do is get up to the station, which is in a 120 kilometer orbit. Yeah. All right, really starting to pick up the speed now. Notice before I got up to 1,100 meters per second, so I'd like to get in there and up to about 18, 19 kilometers, I think it was. I'd like to duplicate that. Get some nice flamey effects. kind of works. Let's pitch down. Let's really start getting more speed. More speed. More speed. Yep, the whole idea of this is to dock with the station. Okay, I am starting to lose speed. I don't know if I want to pitch down anymore. So I'm going to do the switch, pitch up a bit. I don't think these pre-coolers are turning off, like are closing there. That does affect drag. Yeah, close that air intake, close that intake, I should put that on the action group too. Close intake, there we go. 
Okay. Up, up, up. Nice exhaust pumes. Pumes. <laughs> uh, plumes. That's the word I was looking for. I think I was combining fumes and plumes. But we're getting something there. I'm going to keep it. Hold it right there. No more fiddling about. But there's some nice exhaust plumes coming off of those toroidal engines. Coming from the restock. Restock plus. Or no, just restock, sorry. It's just restock that does the texturing. Okay, start reducing throttle again. Don't want that apple apoapsis to get too far from me. This time I think I'm going to be running out of liquid fuel first. <laughs> Looking at this. It's hard to tell actually from these bars because they have different tank sizes. So just because they're not matched up doesn't mean anything. Okay, uh, let's pitch down, pitched up too high, come on. I don't know. Might have the balance right, still might not have enough fuel. Might still need more fuel. I'm going to lock this on prograde. All right, we've gone into the quiet stage of this ascent now. <laughs> so I've got about 54 seconds on my Apple Apps. It's getting close to 50 kilometers in altitude. No idea what the delta V situation is. Is this, I guess this is probably right. 200 meters per second left. I don't think that's going to be enough. I think I'm going to need to add more fuel. I can see I'm going to be running out of oxidizer first. So we still need more oxidizer. What if I just start, keep using these cans and just wrapping them around? That's what I'm thinking of doing. We're going to run out of fuel though, but there we are. We're out. We're out, we're out, we're out. We need more fuel. So what we're going to do, uh, again, ran out of oxidizer again first. So we're going to once again terminate this simulation. It's going to take a little bit of playing about. Okay, let's start playing with some, t oh wait, action groups. I noticed, I know on one of the action groups here, that should be toggle intake. Okay. All right, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to keep using these. So I'm going to put that around here. Let's take off that checklist. It's just in the way. Start wrapping them around the bottom too. Out there, we're gonna be tweaking these tanks because I got a feeling this is now too much, too much oxidizer. But we'll get them looking good first, because it's all about making sure they look good. That, and in, and this way. I can live with that. Okay, uh, let's do some more tweaking. So I know I did run out of oxidizer first, but I think some of these are gonna need some liquid fuel. So what I'm gonna do, let's edit these center tanks. Let's just go with straight up liquid chemicals. Add it, no, max, add. And then can I, that's liquid fuel, and then add another one, max, add, no reduce the volume of this there and now add okay. 
second. Let's try this over. Let's start over again. So, oh, wait, I can, I think I see what I can do. If I go here and go add, that is liquid fuel. And then if I do another half one and add and change that one to oxidizer. Beautiful. So now let's close the editor. Let's put stuff in there. <laughs> so now these have liquid fuel and oxidizer in balance. These guys are just oxidizer. Let's look at the mass and lift again. That's tolerable. I can deal with that. Yeah. I don't think I have a lot of texturing options here. All right. Um, let's see how this one goes. Let's see if we can. Oh, do I use a half? Somebody's saying I used a half plus a quarter of the remaining tank. Let's edit the tank. Did I do something wrong here? Oh, you think I used half and half. Oh, so you think here I should have pushed max. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Thank you. Who is that? Deborn. Yep. Oh, except I don't want a battery. I, I understand what I did wrong. I went and put this on liquid chemical and then I had half again and that's half of the remaining space. Use half of the available volume. Now, now I want to use all of the remaining volume. Add that on and change that to oxidizer. That is what I need. There we go. Oh, it does go by... Well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. Save and simulate once again. Lots and lots of simulations this time. Boop, boop, boop. Lights on, brakes on, chase, bottle up, and go. Brakes off. Go. Nope, you do get into diminishing returns as you keep adding on more and more fuel, but I'm hoping. And I'll be honest, I'm not someone with a ton of space plane experience or SSTO experience. Because um, usually in my campaigns, I'm kind of starting to wrap things up around this time and eager to start over again. And I went and looked back. It's been a long time since I built something like this. So if people are looking at this and thinking like, especially with my ascent profile, I'm just sort of guessing more or less at how it goes I figure what we need is speed so I'm trying to maximize my speed building up but if somebody's looking at this and saying you know you really should try this I'm open to hearing about it because really when it comes to just getting through the game in an efficient way I, honestly nothing nothing in this game I think beats rockets they're easy to fly easy to get back down I guess this becomes cost effective because you're recovering the entire vehicle as opposed to shuttles and the like, like my Puff 2, which I don't think is cost effective at all because all you're doing is building a heavier orbiter and spending more money to get it up there. Landing is probably one of the things I'm the least worried about on this thing. Honestly. Landing's pretty, pretty not a biggie. Okay, come on, I need more speed. More speed. Think about what you're doing here. Now I'm not gaining altitude too quickly. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at this pitch for a little while. Okay, we're starting to pick up speed again. Very slowly. This thing likes to roll to one side either. I notice that a lot with planes. 
They never seem, they seem to want to roll either north or east, and I don't know if that's just you're not quite on the line you want to go, or I mean north or south from where you want to go. And I'm not sure if that's just me not flying very well, if there's some sort of wacky coral, it's probably not a coral. No, it can't be because you're right along the equator. Coriolis was the word I was searching for there. Learning around the speed of sound. We're not going that fast yet. And again, I just added a lot of fuel mass. That might be what's being pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> and the ever helpful instruction in the chat that one of the best ways to increase delta V is to oh decrease weight weight I thought you said increase weight there Seb <laughs> yep that's why I'm trying to keep this thing you know I'm adding on fuel as I need it rather than to build something big let's see okay now we're starting to pick up speed that's what I want to see Okay, just hitting 10 kilometers in altitude. Speed is really starting to spike now. Oh, replace these radial intakes, says Seb, and try just two of the shock cones. Maybe. And you're talking about replacing these guys as well, the adjustable ramp intakes? I gotta be honest, I'm not 100% got my head wrapped around the difference between all the various intakes. I do have the shock cone in, so take these off, or take these off and replace, I don't know, we'll see. Might play around with different, yeah, that might not be a bad experiment to play around with different intakes after this and see if that helps. Okay, how we doing, how we doing, how we doing? Getting close to a thousand. Thousand meters per second on the speed. Do you want to kind of level off a bit and really start picking up the speed? There we go. Just cracked a thousand meters per second. Almost at 19 kilometers for altitude, but I want more speed. Maybe different intakes. Maybe this is a good opportunity to experiment with intakes and see if different ones work better. I've not spent enough time really doing that kind of thing. All right. Wait for this speed to kind of level off. I think that's good. Okay. Engaging the rocket engines. Pitching up a little bit. This, of course, this thing happens to make orbit. And I might just uh, say I'm, I'm good. Okay, I'm just going to hold this attitude right here. Sorry, are we getting some problem with the uh, stream lagging? My connection on this end says that it's still very good. Starting to reduce thrust as we approach 50 seconds here, a little less still. Keep that apoapsis close by. Probably pitch down too. Whoa, not that far. All right. 
right, and again, it's see when we run out of fuel here. So 490 odd meters per second, I guess, is what that's saying. I don't know. Hard to tell. This time it really is looking like the liquid fuel is going to be running out first before the oxidizer. Way too much oxidizer. Yeah, I'm tending to agree. Definitely not going to be making space to on this thing just yet. It's getting close, so hopefully. But way yeah, we're running out. We got a lot of oxidizer left. But either way, there it is. That's that. Okay, terminate. So the suggestion was making. Oops, go back to space plane hanger to switch out air intakes. So if I go over to aerodynamics, I do have the shock cone air intakes. So that's these ones. Are they better than the ramp air intakes? Uh, they have 130 kilograms. air amount is two whatever that means and then we have the ramp air intakes air amount is also two but only 70 kilograms so they're lighter effective base i don't yeah effective base speed is higher whatever that means intake area is 0.74 square meters while these are 0.75 square meters you think it would be better with these on instead? Save it, then try this suggestion. Not that it'll work. Remove all intakes and just two shock cones. So two of these. And then remove all these fellas. I'm worth I'm 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 up for giving that a try. Got too much of that? Try just that. I'm up for whatever. See how that works. Now, one thing we were noticing is it had way too much oxidizer. So I'm going to take, again, this tank. And we're going to remove that. We're going to pick liquid chemicals. We're going to put in half. Add that. That's for liquid fuel. And then we're going to put in another. Add that and switch that one to oxidizer. So now these bottom ones are liquid fuel. Well, let's if they're full. Liquid fuel and oxidizer, and these ones are liquid fuel. Well, the top ones are all just full of oxidizer. All right, we'll try it with this. So simplify the design. Lift and mass still look pretty good. Uh, I think I should put these guys onto my action group. Toggle the intakes. Let's see how this works. Oh, Michael's saying on the tank editor that further down the mix, there is an LFO option that has normal mix. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Michael. Thank you. Though, I mean, this entire craft isn't balanced, so it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. It's always going to have more liquid fuel than oxidizer. Okay, uh, do, 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 view to chase. Okay. Breaks off, punch it. So we're trying it again. All those radial intakes are now gone. Placed with the shock intakes at the front. Okay, we're off. And the idea being 
So these need to get up to a very high speed, I take it. See, I've always noticed this sort of effective air speed here. And I've always, I'm assuming what that means is that being close to that air speed is what's good. I've never been quite sure. I figure as long as I'm building speed, I'm probably doing the right thing. Okay, let's see how this works. I like these. These look better anyway. <laughs> yep. Fox Gaming is saying I don't have to use all of that volume either for those configurable tanks, and that's absolutely true. Fly flat at 15k meters. Okay, at 15 kilometers, we'll flatten out. So that's just to build up speed, I take it. I shall definitely try that. Thank you. Okay, pitching down a little bit more. You know, I should have been paying attention to because this does say... Doesn't it say something about air input or something? No, fuel flow. But this does talk about flow. I would assume this, the bigger the number, the better. That might be a good way to compare engines, is just get out there, fly them, and then take a look at these intakes and see what the flow numbers are. And I would assume the higher the flow, the better. I'm just, I'm just going to hold this attitude, let this keep building up speed. I think it, well, I don't know, maybe it's my imagination. It feels like it's building up speed more quickly now than the previous planes. Okay, hitting 10 kilometers altitude. I'm going to pitch down just a little bit. Just thousand meters per second now. Still building speed, which is good. Let's little pitch down a little bit more. I heard this to be 15 kilometers. Just want to be kind of flat. Oh, we're definitely going faster now. I'm feeling like a comet here. 1150 meters per second. Eleven eighty, eleven ninety. Can I hit twelve hundred? Oh, I'm starting to go down. I don't actually want to go down. I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna punch it. So again, putting on those toroidals, pitching up a bit. See things coming into chat, but I'm just sort of really watching this more than that. Yeah, use a KOS script to keep track of performance numbers. That is a very good idea, Rob. So you don't have to add them all up. You can get KOS to add them all up and then just dump them into some log file. Here, I'm going to just hold this attitude right here. We definitely got going faster than I did last time.
Oh, reduce throttle. All right, I, well, we got just under 800 meters per second just right there. Again, reducing throttle again. The balance here does seem better. Pitch down a bit more. Whoa, not that far. Six hundred meters per second still left, according to the game. Do I have? Oh, I do have it up here somewhere, don't I? Delta V. Oh, it doesn't. Not a number, is what Kerbal Engineer says. My Delta V is probably if I just move these the right way around. There we go. Five hundred meters per second says Kerbal Engineer. Okay, pay attention here. Let's lock the prograde. Doing pretty good. Orbital velocity, not 1940 meters per second. Like I'm very close to achieving orbital velocities here. Very little thrust. Maybe a little more thrust though. I don't know, this is looking pretty good. Of course, I don't know of how, how, gotta put four more Kerbals in here. That's probably gonna affect things. All right, uh, just our Apoapsis just passed 70 kilometers. And that's 80. All right, so I mean, we're going into space. That is a very good thing. There's 93 meters per second left. I can see it's the oxidizer that's a little bit on the low side. You think staying level at a lower altitude uh, Fox Gaming says. Well, either way, I mean, I'm going to get in orbit here. I mean, I, I, I just hardly... Well, why don't we do it just to do it? But I am definitely going to get in orbit. Not a lot of Delta V left for rendezvousing with the station. I'd like to have a little bit more. That could be just my flying. But I am looking as well a little bit more liquid fuel. No, a little bit more oxidizer. But I mean, I'm have to almost add nothing here. Oh, just got a funny camera thing. There we go. That's an orbit, but only three meters per second left. So that's not gonna do it.